Okay, welcome. I want to show you a quick video on some stuff I've been doing. Got some Yeti loadout boxes, but before I go there, I don't know if you remember, but in my last video, I showed you that I replaced the hatch springs with moonlight hatch springs because in Kona, you decided to use these really wimpy little $10 hatch springs. So then the other day, I'm out with my loadout box and it's windy and I decide, guess what? The, the lid keeps falling closed. Hmm. How about we just put the hat springs on there? Boom. So I just want to show you how I did that real quick. Pretty easy. You take your cheap hat springs Take your tackle box, put it up against the inside there. So you can measure the top of this and then just screw it in. And right now, and I just screwed it on top there. And right now I just have the sides that just screwed in there, but I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, nuts, some nuts and a stainless steel washer. So that'll have a good way to use these cheap little uh, little deals there. Okay, so that's the first kind of cool thing. It's weird how Yeti wouldn't have some sort of thing on there to keep the door open. I don't know, not a big deal. But uh, okay, so let me show you this other thing. All right, before I show you that other thing, this is just how it closes. You don't want to push it down in there because it gets all crinkly. Just pull it up here and that thing goes right closed. Boink. Yeti cooler for easily 10 years. It was one of the first little ones here and we had the, had it on the boat uh, lashed down so you could stand on it and fish and then sit on it. And we occasionally put lots of fish in it <laughs> and occasionally put drinks in, but mostly it was to stand on uh, for fishing and we never really had a like used it a bunch for drinks because we always had fish in it for some reason because it was our fish box. So the other day I came across this, I was looking for a bucket and I heard, of, I saw the Yeti buckets, but then I also came across this thing called a Kula and it's from the same company that makes boat, the paddle boards. And I bought it and holy crap, game changer, man. This thing is awesome. And if you already have a Yeti, then, or a Yeti bucket, one of the expensive Yeti buckets, then probably not going to be interested in a $200 plastic bucket. But the Kula bucket here is, is really awesome. I really like it for lots of reasons. One being it's small and it's easy to carry. It's got this really cool handle already built in um, and it kind of locks in place. So it always is up. But what's really cool is this one-handed piece, one-handed lid that falls open and allows you to just grab a drink and slam it back down and put the thing down. It's pretty awesome. It does have a, a bottle opener here, which is weirdly placed right underneath this. It should be off to the side, so you don't have to contend with this. And it also has recesses for, for the handle so that it stays down. So lots of cool features on this. One thing that's actually kind of cool is it's got this rubberized top, so you can stand on it as a pulling plat as a casting platform does minimize your space. And it also has a drain on the bottom, which is kind of cool. I don't know, man. I guess you could probably just turn the thing over and drain it. Now, the thing I, the, those are the kind of the cool things I like about the Kula. And it keep, obviously it's thick, it keeps drinks forever. And uh, the, the th issue with it though, is that it's got black, these black rubberized feet on the bottom. And 
the Yeti uses, all the Yetis use a gray, gray foot because they figured it out. They already know that black rubberized feet mark up your white boat and cause a mess. So they already figured that out. And same with the loadout boxes on the bottom of the loadout boxes, the feet are, the feet are gray as well. So that's one thing that boat hasn't figured out just yet, but it's totally worth the money, man. We love that bucket and it fits. I don't know how many cans it fits. It fits a bunch of cans if you're just uh, out drinking drinks for, for the day. And it's easy to maintain. It's lightweight versus loading up, loading up this guy. And then it's, you know, you got a hundred pounds of weight messing around. So anyway, just a couple of ideas and a couple of thoughts on some Yeti products and how we're using them over here at the, uh, at the boat shop. Okay, last piece of gear here I just wanted to show you. This is the st a steel, man. I got a Core Surf wet dry bag or wet bag, mostly wet bag. And it's freaking awesome. I got it for, I think I got it for 29 bucks online. However, these are like around 60 or $70. It's got a Velcro, uh, Velcro seal on top. It's got pockets inside. And what you do with it is you, you know, pretty much what you do with every dry bag, you Velcro it and then you seal it. And what's cool about this thing is it's got these extra straps that actually secure everything redundantly, which is awesome. It's got a dry bag, a dry pocket up front. It's got straps all over this because it's also a backpack, which is pretty dang cool. Fully sealed seams and pretty lightweight. It's got even another double redundant <laughs> straps on top. So now that you have it rolled, rolled and closed, you've got it this way and you got it this way. Kind of a cool thing. I got this for, I think it was 30 bucks online. And uh, I, what I keep in here is emergency kit, spare clothing, whatever I need that needs to stay dry. Almost everywhere I roll, I always carry an extra set of clothes. So my, uh, uh, so obviously I'm going to get wet because I'm going fishing. So that's another pretty cool item to have. And it's nice and small. I wouldn't get, they sell bigger ones. I wouldn't get the bigger ones uh, just because it forces you to keep it, keep your gear compact and reasonably small.